know who I am. Anything you say, anything you say. It's official. What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Tom. It's back again with another rendition of Truth Be Told. Now, I normally don't do game reviews like this. I, you know, you know I do a small video or something uh, on certain games that I've been working on. I've actually finished a couple of games that I just haven't gotten around to doing reviews on. Uh, they're kind of like in the backlog. But, I just started this one not too long ago. And, uh, I'm kind of curious to get your guys' thoughts on it. Because, I want to like the game. I mean, there's some good aspects of it, but there's also a lot of cons. <clears throat> and, I'm just curious if any of you have played it or are currently playing it, if you guys agree with me on the pros and cons, or if you don't. Uh, so please leave your thoughts in the comment section down below. Uh, also, I apologize, it's a little long, because I was doing gameplay while I was going over my thoughts about the game. So it's a little longer than I usually do videos for, but I kind of think that you guys will get why it lasted a little longer. Uh, hopefully, hopefully, uh, you know, some of you have played this game and uh, can relate to what I'm talking about. Because if you've played the game, you most definitely are going to relate to some of the stuff I mentioned. So anyways, like I said, leave your thoughts down in the comment section down below. Let me know. Alright, let's get on with it. Uh, I, I kind of want everyone's thoughts on this game. Because I started playing it a while back. And, you know, I had some pros and cons. I really want to like this game. But there's... I'm not sure if the cons outweigh the pros on this game, to be honest. Um, I've never been, uh, like, uh, real big into multiplayer games, like online multiplayer games. I don't like playing with other people because, especially when it comes to B PvP, which is player versus player. Uh, because there's people that will go in these games and they will be on it for like almost 24 hours straight. Almost every day. And then like they're so far advanced and experienced in the gameplay that when new players come on, they just ravish them and take their shit. Like, all the time. So, I'm not a fan of the multiplayer. Uh, now, if you can play multiplayer where there is no PvP, where players can't attack you, I'm, I'm, I'm a little better about that. You know, that's okay. But honestly, I like playing solo. I just like doing my own thing and not have to worry about everybody else. Um, but yeah, when I first started this game, it ran smoothly, um, 
and it it was all right, but then it just it does does this automatic update, and it changes to this thing called Age of War, and the next thing you know, it just goes to shit. Half of it goes to shit. It pissed me off because I don't I don't want to play on a server, and it automatically forces you to be on a server. And that's the main, one of the main reasons why. The lag. The server lags so bad. Because they only give you one, fun, you know, Funcom, which is the maker of this game, only gives you one fucking server to go on. Like, they don't have multiple servers. So everybody bogs everybody else down. Because you got tons of people on the same damn server. Now it doesn't show them people. It only says you're on the server. But I'm telling you now, it's multiple people. And they're too cheap to get fucking other servers. Uh... So it almost irritates me that I gotta play it with the fucking lag. That's one the major con I have is the lag. Oh my god, the lag can be sometimes ridiculous too. Um someone tried to say I saw online where they tried to say take off the journey steps and the weapons uh, steps or whatever, blah, blah, blah. And I did that, but it still doesn't help. Uh, so they're full of shit. Because obviously you could see that I'm still lagging. And I'm not lagging really bad right now because I'm just walking around my base. Um, and when I first started, they just, it literally just drops you off in the middle of nowhere. It's a survival game. You gotta build shit. And fucking. Find. Go farming. You know. Grabbing ingredients. And mixing them together. To make other shit. And fucking then. Mixing those things together. To make more shit. Blah blah blah. Um, I'm not a big fan. Of that kind of crap. It's okay. I'm just not a huge fan of it. I'm more of a war strategy game or RPGs game. I'm I, I'm not a big fan of first person shooters. Now uh first person shooters are not, I'm not a real big fan of first-person shooters either. It's just the same shit over and over again. However, I do like... I, I'm a huge fan of the Fallout series. Uh, because it has RPG elements in it. Like, you're not just going around shooting shit. You're fucking actually building up your character. And, and you know, fucking... Putting, uh, like a tribute points and shit like that. Um, like I said, when, when I first started, I've gotten a little ways in it, but I'll, I'll show you the map. This is the map. I haven't even begun. I mean, I'm just around the river. There's so much crap in this game. Like, it's redonkulous. I mean, I don't even know when I'm going to be able to get up there to the north. Where all the ice is and shit. I haven't even been to the fucking stupid ass city. The city's supposed to be here. There's like one city or some shit like that. Supposedly. 
but there's a bunch of crap. And it takes forever just to get in these areas down the river. I mean, it takes a long ass fucking time to get there. That's another con I have with this game is fast travel. On the Fallout series, you have something called fast travel. Where if you discover a place like this, you can click on it and you'll fast travel to that area. You can't do that in this game. You have to fucking run your stupid little ass all the fuck the way over there, which takes like 20 minutes. It's a pain in the fucking ass. The other thing I do not like, another con of this game, is uh, what's called the death loop. If you die in a certain area, it respawns you uh, where your bed is, your bedding or bed. My bed's here in my base. Right there. But, it'll respawn you there. And then you have to go all the fuck the way over where you died to get all your shit back. Because all your stuff stays on your body. And you have to go get... Now, I've played a few other games where they do that kind of crap but it is not it was not nearly as a pain in the ass as this game to get all your shit back it's a pain in the ass in this game because you get nothing like I play games where you can just run around, run back to where you are there are no enemies and you get your shit back in this game all the enemies respawn. So you'd have to fight all them motherfuckers to get your shit back. It's ridiculous. Uh, now they have this thing called thralls. That's what this giant wheel is for. Is to make thralls. Which I have one. I'll show you. Uh, I was just seeing if I could do it. See if I can make a thrall. Now, I got one. I got a bodyguard. Or a guard. He guards the building. Um, but. The problem. With the thrall. The whole thrall thing. Is. I haven't tried to do any animals. They say if you get a horse. You use a horse as a steed. And get around faster. I very highly doubt that. Eventually, I'll try it, but I, I'm telling you now, I've seen people play this game with horses, and they're still, it's still, they don't travel that fast. So you're still going to take a good 15 minutes to get to that fucking area I showed you on the map. Now, while I'm getting through the first part of this while I'm talking to you, uh, I'm not showing you anything major. Uh, you build your basic stuff and then you know eventually you can upgrade and get better uh, uh, crafting stations is what it's called and each crafting station does different things and uh, gives you certain items but then you gotta, you gotta put the shit together, then fucking, you know, fucking burn it or some shit, and it makes something else. And then you take that something else and put it in this crafting station with something else, and put it together and make something else. And then you gotta come over here, and then put it in this station with something else to make your final product. And it's just, that's why I don't like a lot of your survival type games. Constantly having to mix in ingredients and shit. Just to get to one fucking thing. You know, and you need a lot of the ingredients a lot of times to do it. It's a pain in the fucking ass. Uh, and this building, they have like, 
I'll show you here. They have like, they have this knowledge tree. And the building shit, like, what? You know, you eventually build like really strong fucking foundation crap and blah, blah, blah. But it's like, my gosh. And then your tribute points, you know. I don't like this split where you get to choose one or the other. You know, once you get that attribute leveled up to a certain level. I don't like that. Uh, the knowledge thing, like I said, why do you need... So, yeah, I'm not a big fan of the way these attributes are done. And then the knowledge... Why do you need fucking 20 different fucking types of building material? I mean, I understand that, like, when you're doing multiplayer, they have what's raids, or they, they get raided or whatever. But what the fuck, man? I understand you want a, a bit, but why 20? There, You don't need 20 of them. Four or five, maybe, max. But my gosh. And then they have these decorations. Like, who gives a fuck about decorating? There, There's no sense in them. They're just there to make your look, base look pretty. It's dumb. Um, the weapons, you know, you have to, like, unlock all these technologies to have better advanced weapons and armor. You know, religion, you know, I get all that. But the fucking building material crap, it's just dumb. Uh, and the decorations, that's just dumb. Like, there's no reason for a tavern. It literally says it's for your thralls to drink and get drunk. Ooh. Fucking stupid. Uh... Yeah, I get most of this other crap. Uh, armor, religion, you know. Uh, the other thing that really irritates me is these journeys. Now, at the beginning of the game, it automatically does these journeys. It'll, it'll have it on a site to the right. My problem with these journeys is that uh, you can't, you only can do one at a time. Like, you can't, like, and it's, and that's annoying and irritating. I want to be able to click on them all at the same time, unless they're locked. I get it, if they're locked, you have to unlock it, blah, blah, blah. But to be able to click on the ones that are unlocked all at once and be doing all of them at one time. So that way, if you do do something in the journey, one of the steps in the journey, it'll mark it off. It'll check it off. But no, you have to click on the journey. And then you have to go. And instead of doing it, you can't do it out of order. You have to do this shit, you know, in order. You have to go here, then down. You, you, you can't do it out of order. It's dumb. So I'm not a big fan of the journeys. Um, clan followers. The map. And, and then they have these challenge, daily challenges. And then... Uh, what? This is just so you, they, you can spend money... Same thing with this bizarre thing, DLCs. Uh, anyways, that's how I feel about that stuff. Uh, the, the, some of it's just ridiculous. Now, uh, eventually you got, when you first start out, you got all this stuff over, if it's going to move over there. 
Okay. You got all this stuff on the right side that you could pretty much make you know, fairly easy at the beginning of the game. Um, you just got to do some gathering of stone, uh, you know, f plant fibers, <coughs> and uh, like wood. And you can make most of this stuff fairly easy, like stone tools and stuff. Um, okay, not a big deal. Uh, one thing you do want, as soon as you could uh, get some steel made, is you make this fucking gas mask, which I've got my yellow square on. Gotta make that fucking gas mask, because this game periodically has this thing called a sandstorm. And if you're caught in a sandstorm, you're going to die. Everybody keeps saying, oh, you got to get up next to these rocks and sometimes hunker down like this and you'll survive because they'll say shelter on it. No. It kills you. Every time. I've done it a hundred times without that gas mask. It'll kill you. So you got to take, you, you take your chances when you go foraging out in the area. Now I just built a basic sandstone. That's what you're able to build at first. Uh, until you unlock certain technologies. You can only craft certain tools and weapons. Uh, you have to... The only way I've been able to level up is I have to do a lot of fighting. A lot of fighting to level up. Now, you see these ghosts here? I'm going to show you something. I, anyone who's playing this game, I'm going to show you something. A place... Where you build your base and you're not going to get fucked with by anything. Like you don't have to worry about people coming and fucking with your shit. No raiders, nothing. They are not going to fucking fuck with you. And where I built my base. Is literally uh, uh, an area where there is tons of resources. Tons. Okay. So here's the map. When you first start the game, you're going to start down here on the broken highway. That's the first place you come across. And it's all desert area. And then you're going to come in here and you know, you're next to the river. Uh, avoid any other NPCs or anything like that because you're not strong enough to take most of them on because they'll come at you like three or four at a time. Um, and it's a pain in the ass. You're looking for a place called Shattered Bridge. And it's almost at the end, or, or towards the end of this river. Once you get to Shattered Bridge, and that's what this is. You see that bridge up there? That's really high. You want to build your base where it's high. Okay? You're going to find these ghosts along the way on this hill next to the bridge. You're going to follow these ghosts. It's just some type of in-play story or whatever that doesn't really matter. I don't know why they put it in there. 
It's annoying as hell. Um, and you're going to follow them all the way up to this hill. Where you find a, where, again, the ghosts and where they camped or whatever, blah, blah, blah. And you're going to find this thing here, which in, it just tells you a little bit of a story. And here's the bridge. And that's literally how I built my base. And all alongside the bridge, which there's plenty of room, you can build all your fucking crafting stations. No, there's only one way to get in here. And that's through the front door that I built. There's no other way because it's too high. They can't climb the fucking bridge all the way up where it's at. Uh... Another thing is, I'm going to show you something down here. They have these little demon imp looking motherfuckers like that right there. Uh, and they're easy to kill. But, there's usually a couple of them right here. However, I just built this. I was going to try to fucking make it to where this is a little outpost for... For my base, but it won't work that way. I couldn't. I couldn't even put my thrall in front of the door to guard it. It wouldn't allow it. But once I built this, I noticed that them motherfuckers weren't around anymore. Cause there was two of them right here. Every time I'd come out. But then I was like, okay, works for me. Now I'm going to do a material run. Um, you have these tools. The knife is for skinning. But. You can also use a steel pick for skinning. The, the hatchet is for your wood. But the steel pick also gives you bark. Now, the problem with these tools and shit is the game doesn't tell you anything. Like, there's tons of recipes and shit for making certain items. But the game doesn't tell you these recipes. You just kind of have to figure it out on your own or look it up online. And there's a shit ton of them. Um... My problem with that is also the tool. Like, I didn't know you could fucking use your pick here instead of a hatchet to hit the fucking tree and get bark from it. I didn't know. I had to look that shit up online. I was like, oh, that's how you get bark is you fucking hit a tree with your pickaxe instead of your fucking hatchet? Why didn't it fucking tell me that shit? Plus, once you upgrade from, like, iron to steel, you can get resin from the fucking tree as well, which the game doesn't tell you this. Uh, and you need some of these ingredients to make certain types of wood. You need to make them to make uh, certain types of fucking uh, bars, steel bars or iron bars. That kind of shit, it doesn't tell you this shit. Like the, the fish traps, it doesn't tell you you need bait in it, but, you know, it's kind of obvious, you know. I, I kind of figured that out fairly easy. But still, it doesn't tell you anything. Uh, you know, it don't tell you where to get all this shit. You just got to figure, like this? That's alloy leaves, which helps you make, like, certain medicine bottles to heal yourself. But it doesn't tell you that. It tells you to come here and get fiber from this fucking thing. It's just, you have to kind of just, like, figure it out on your own. Unless, like I said, you look it up online. Now... 
the thing with the pickaxe, they have this wheel here. You got to use this wheel to do shit. The thing with the, uh, or still pick, well, it's still a pickaxe. Uh, they don't tell you when you kill something, if you use the pickaxe instead of the skinning knife, you can get bone and sh other shit from the fucking corpse. Whereas, if you do it with the skinning knife, you're more likely just to get skins or fur. You know, you're not going to get bones and other items. You don't know that until you do it. Um, and then they have, you know, they have a skinny knife, but they also have what's called a cleaver. It literally does the same thing as the skinny knife. So why the fuck do you need a fucking other tool that does the same fucking thing? It makes no sense. Now every weapon does something different. The fighting styles are all different. Um, you have to build what's called a construction hammer. You have to make one because that's how you make all your construction. See? It, it, when you use a construction hammer, it gives you the construction menu. And then you can go through here and choose what you want to build and it tells you the items you need to fucking build it um, now the game never stops so if you stop somewhere out in the middle of that area you, it is possible you can get attacked while you're like, like right there. Uh, I'm, I'm in my inventory. But I could still be attacked while I'm going through my inventory. Now another feature of this game I'm not a fan of is the constant needing to eat. <clears throat> Sometimes because of the lag... Like you'll push the button to eat something and it'll pop up a window like you were holding down the button like that. It'll do that instead of actually eating a piece of meat or whatever or drinking it, which is deadly. You know, you're trying to drink a potion because you're being attacked. But yeah, it'll do stuff like that all the time, which is super annoying now I'm going to do my run here I'm going to show you if you're playing this game uh, I'm going to show you a run where you can get a shit ton of iron and quite a bit of brimstone you need the resource rim, brimstone you need to mine it so you can make what's called steel fire you have to mix brimstone and tar together to make uh, steel fire. And then you take your steel fire, put it in the furnace, and it will give you steel bars. Which you will need a lot of them for later on. You need a ton of iron too, but we'll get to that in a minute. So, before I get, take you on this run to where you get a bunch of material uh, and get some fighting experience, a simple run, I'm going to show it to you so you know where to go from your base uh, to get the easiest material and make iron bar and uh, uh, steel. Because um, brimstone... Iron's not too hard to find, but the brimstone is a pain in the ass to find. There's only certain key areas that have brimstone in them. Um, before we do, I'm just going to go over a couple things. I'm not a fan 
of the eating and drinking several years back they started introducing that kind of crap into these games and it's just another add-on to be annoying it's not needed it's ridiculous I hate it um, the other thing is uh, everybody knows about if you've played games like this before there's a carrying capacity like your player can only carry so much and then they become uh, overweighted and they can't walk very fast they're really slow you have to get rid of shit uh, you know you just can't carry a bunch of crap and it's just it, it's annoying but I get it but at the same time it's really annoying there really is no need for that. Uh, the players should be allowed to carry as much as they can. Uh, because then you have to go dump shit. Then you have to come back. Then you got to go dump shit. Then you got to come back. It's just needless, needless running around. Now, I suggest you get your tribute strength up to 10 and get the second skin perk as quickly as you can because it allows you to carry your armor uh, as 25 percent less weight uh, you have to unlock certain weapons uh, you have your two-handed weapons like your your big swords great swords or whatever and then your mauls or hammers then you have your one-handed weapons and shields. Then you have your uh, rogue weapons, which is like two daggers. Uh, you know, you can use two weapons at the, at the same time. Uh, then you have your bows. And then you have your... Uh, no, I think that's it. Anyway, you have all the, and they all do, uh, like you have your standard attack like that, and then you have your strong attack. Uh, out of all the weapons, I've tried each one. Honestly, I prefer, no, there's, there's a couple other weapons like joust. There's the jousting rod and the pike, which both suck. They just stab. Uh, but most of the weapons I really don't care for. Uh, the two daggers or rogue weapons, they don't do hardly any damage. Uh, they're fast, but they don't do much damage. Your two-handed weapons do a lot of damage, but they're really slow on attack. So you could get chopped up before you even get a couple of hits in. Um, I like the one-handed weapons and the bows, uh, for, like, sniping and shit. Uh, but I like, you know, the shield. Uh, my favorite's the mace. It does the best damage. Delayed freaking crap. Now, just to cut down time, sometimes I'll skin them. Like my enemies, I'll skin. Yes, you can skin humans. Uh, but just to save time. This, this is an alkylite. Uh, he's, I don't know where he's at. He's usually standing there. You know, he's for a different religion. Uh, you have religions. You can, like, five or six different religions. Uh, but here's your first deposit. i switch to this pick. 
and you'll gather a little bit of stone as well but as you can see it's like gray looking it's not brown like sandstone that's where you get your iron deposits from always switch back to your weapons just in case if you're running around but yeah you have different religions when at the very beginning when you create your character um, certain religions give you certain benefits except for the religion for Krom. Krom don't give you anything. No benefits if you choose Krom. Nothing. But yeah, I usually kill all these creatures for experience. I usually skin them. Not always, sometimes. It just depends if I really want to carry that much or not. Uh, if you look to the left of the top top screen, you have your experience bar, then your health bar, then your stamina bar. I forgot to go up here. And then below it is your water, your food meter, then your weight, and then for whatever reason, this game adds a like uh, that red and blue. Oh, don't worry, I'll deal with you here in a minute. Oh, sometimes these guys they'll blow up on you, but one hit and they're usually dead. Not at the beginning of the game, but once you get your iron, start making iron weapons, one hit and they're usually dead. But yeah, that fourth one that's red and blue, that is temperature. I don't know why they added that in this game. Uh, you, you can get too cold or too hot. Kind of silly, but whatever. But if you follow this run, you're going to find plenty of iron and brimstone. Now, I could block with my shield like that, but... Normally, I don't really worry about it because I can usually kill them fairly easy. Uh, the mace I have is the highest iron mace. I haven't, I haven't unlocked steel weapons yet, even though I have unlocked the steel for steel bars and stuff like that I just haven't unlocked some of the weapons yet just haven't gotten around to it but it's pretty close to my next agenda so I usually kill his alligator right off the bat because he'll come sneak up on you and try to attack you See, sometimes the lag will make you stop and sh uh, it's annoying. And then you have these three guys up here. They're easy to kill. Now, when it comes to thralls, you see where it says fighter in gray? This one over here said tanner. Now you can make thralls and then, you know, uh, the thralls, 
See, the fucking lag causes that. Uh, I've already got Black Kingdoms. Take the twine. The health stuff. I don't care about the rest. What? Fuck, there's not. Anyways. Uh, the thralls. You can put thralls into your crafting stations and they'll make them craft faster. Uh, uh, you know, depending on the level of thrall, you have to unlock that technology to make them better. Uh, they'll produce special items for you sometimes and stuff. I haven't gotten into that whole thrall thing yet, really. I checked it out. The one thing I don't like about trying to make thralls is that you got to knock them out with a special weapon. You can't kill them. You knock them out. And then... Uh, oh, you fucking... Uh, you, you know, you take them out with a special weapon that knocks them unconscious. But, uh, Then you got to tie him up with this rope you make, and then you have to drag them from where you're at, where you knocked them out at, all the way back to your base. And it just, it's ridiculous that you have to do it. Like, you can't pick them up and carry them. You have to drag him with this rope, which is dumb. It just takes too long to drag their ass all the way back to your base. And, you know, you have to get... Okay, so the fighters can become guards. Archers can be, like, lookout scouts. Uh, you know, they can you know, set on guard your base that way. And then then you have to look for specific types. Like the tanners for the tanner. The blacksmiths are for the blacksmith. And hoping that you can because a, a lot of times you're getting attacked by three or four people at the same time. So it's really hard to try to, like, take them all out with that special weapon and hope that... And hope that you, you know, take them down. You know, trying to weed out the ones you want it's going to be a pain in the ass. I haven't even gotten to try to do that because I know it's going to be a pain in the fucking ass to try to weed out certain humans because they they all clump together in packs. There's like three or four of them each time at each camp. So while you're trying to look for specific ones you're getting attacked by three others makes it annoying but yeah basically follow this water line all the way up this river just go up the river fucking I hate hyenas they suck 
I just don't like them stupid dogs. They're just annoying and a pain in the ass. Because they attack you in packs, too. If you're not careful, spiders will do the same thing. Yes, there's giant spiders in this game. And they'll attack you, too. In groups. It's like everything. Almost everything attacks you in groups, except for, like, I like the alligators, because they don't do that. About the only animal I've encountered so far that don't attack you like in major groups, unless you're in a cave. And, you know, where you go get the brimstone. The cave, there's... The cave you go get the brimstone in. There's several alligators in it, and they will attack you in a group, usually. Well, my weight's getting, getting there. I'm starting to get heavy. But as you can see, if you follow this river, line up with this river here, you're going to find plenty, plenty of these deposits. Now that, those animals are like elk or deer or some crap, antelope, whatever. They don't attack. You can walk right up to them. They don't attack. But just about everything else in this game so far that I've ran across attacks you. Now we're almost to the cave that I was talking about. Oh. Okay. Almost to the cave. It's called like Goleman's Tomb or some shit like that. If you find it on the map. And you have ghosts. For whatever reason. The ghosts lead to some kind of story. Now, when you go in a cave... It doesn't, I don't know if there's something that allows you to see in the dark without one of these, but, uh, no, shit, I probably shouldn't have done that. Let's keep that on. Nah, well, I didn't have to, but, uh, you have to have a torch. Otherwise, you can't see in the dark. Like, it's just too damn dark. And this yellow deposit, like this, this yellow type rock, this is your brimstone. And this is the best place to get it so far that I've seen. Now, there's a few other places that's well, way off the map from where my base is. But I'm not ready to go way that far for fucking brimstone. And I don't know if the deposits are better or not. 
Yeah, they may be. Who knows? I think there's one more alligator. Or croc. Yep, there he is. Now, there's more alligators, more crocs that way. But the thing is, is each one of these caves has some kind of boss in it. Like a really strong creature. And you can get yourself killed real quick. If, I highly recommend, if you're going to go deep in these caves, be prepared to fight a really strong adversary or enemy. I suggest you level up a lot before you do. Like the only cave that I found that you could probably defeat the boss uh, at uh, iron, probably iron level is uh, the very first cave you'll probably run across, which is, you know, those little imp looking dudes that you can hit with like one hit. The boss ain't that hard. He's about as tough as an alligator. So... But yeah, just stick to the entrance. There is more brimstone further in the cave, but you'll run across a giant alligator that's extremely diffi difficult to kill. Uh, you know, I suggest you get pretty high in levels before you start going into caves and clearing them out. Switch back my crap. Because of the lag, usually you can just go over an item and switch it out. But because the lag's so bad, you have to go to an empty spot. Nine times out of ten, you have to like move your square when you first bring up your inventory. Move it to an empty slot go to what you want to move out and then switch it out with something else. It's the, it's the only way. Because the lag is just terrible. Make sure you, after you use your torch, switch your, if you want your shield back, you got to switch it back onto your wheel. Or you got to switch it back when you do your wheel. Uh, or you won't have your shield. Now, here goes the long trek all the fuck the way back. It's a pain in the ass. I'm just grabbing experience. A little experience. But you can kill everything all the way back the way you came. Just follow the river. It'll take you all the way back to your base. Now you can push down on your toggle stick and make it run faster. He'll eat up his stamina by doing so. So make sure you have plenty of stamina if you have to fight again. You gotta fight these fucking doggies. See, your enemies respawn. But yeah, see, I could block if I wanted to. I just usually don't worry about it. Once you start making iron weapons, these uh, near where you entered in the game, most of the creatures and and stuff, 
you know, the humans or whatever. Exiles, they call them. They're fairly easy. With iron weapons. Now, you can get a steel sword. Oh, more doggies. Now, you can find a steel sword on the exiles fairly close to the beginning of the game. Oh, you want to fight? Uh, but yeah, I, it starts with an F. I can't remember the name of the sword. Uh, Fletchin or some shit like that. I don't Fabricarin or some crap like that. I don't know. I don't remember what it's called. And son, see it says Carpenter. That one says Fighter. And you can find loot on them. You can kill them and find loot. And you can also find other items on them. You get human flesh off of them. And then you have a little tiny animal. Well, there was a bunny rabbit. Um, but yeah. You can find all that kind of crap on them. Uh, I'm trying to hurry back to the base. And then I'll show you how to cook some stuff up for your your iron bars and and your steel. And then we'll end this video. I'm pretty sure it's getting kind of long now. You can go fast in the water as well. Just not as fast as it can on land. At least it don't seem that way. But you can see my stamina bar. Stamina bar! stuttered there but anyway yeah you can see it going down Another fighter. Ninety percent of the time, that's all I run across are fighters. Once in a while, he'll say something different, but the majority are all fighters. So I know it's going to be a pain in the ass. To find certain thralls to put in crafting stations. The thralls just speed up the crafting time for the most part until you get the third or fourth tier thralls, but you have to have unlocked certain technology to do it. Thrall technology to make better thralls. And then they start, they'll sometimes produce special items for you and stuff. Supposedly. I don't know, I haven't tried it yet. I just, I climb that wall because it's like a back way in. But as you can see, the bridge is way up here. So they have to like, you know, they would have to get through this front door 
you know, this front part of my base just get in. And that's not happening. Okay. So, you want to go to your furnace. And there's your iron deposits. These blue rocks. Okay. And you're going to click on burn. Which you got to have wood to burn. And it'll make, it'll make them into iron bars. Uh, for your uh, steel, you got to go to a fire bowl cauldron. You got to make one of those. Uh, take your brimstone. Put it in there. Go over here to your... Uh, your tanning station. Uh, if you tan some skin, you take the tar from the skin, you stick it in the fire cauldron bowl, put it in there, and then you come over here to the right and you can craft it. And I'll go into crafting gear and make steel fire. Which is that. Then you take your steel fire. You stick it in your furnace. Which right now it's making bars for me. Uh, steel bars. It'll make steel bars. This makes iron. This makes steel. And I think I'll stop there. But as you can see, you can build all kinds of crap down this bridge. Where it's broken off. So they can't get they can't to get to the back side of your bridge. They can't climb up here. I stuck my deities, you know, worship crap, uh temple, whatever, at the end of it. Haven't even used it. Uh but yeah, those are some pros and cons of this game. Like I said, I, I haven't even got very far in it, and there's just so much crap. So much crap. But the worst part is the lag. I hate this lag. It's annoying as hell. But let me know your thoughts if you've been playing this game or not. What you think of it so far. If you have the same problems I've been having with like the lag and the, the stupid death loop. You know, that kind of crap. I just figured, you know, I haven't seen anybody use this bridge for a base. Which I don't know why. It's the perfect spot. There's plenty of resources right next to it that you're going to need all the time. So I don't see why people don't use this, this base. Or this, this place for a base. Oh, what? All my brimstone didn't go in here. <laughs> That's weird. Anyways, let me know your thoughts on this game. I'd like to I'd like to hear from others who are playing this game. If you agree with me about some of this stuff or or whatnot. Uh so yeah, there's still plenty to try to do. I just that lag is really getting on my nerves. Cause especially if you're fighting somebody and it just freezes up while you're trying to fight. It can, it can get you killed. I know I've had it happen to me a couple times already. Alright. Anyways. That's all I have for you this week. Uh, let me know if you would like me to do more videos about this particular game. Watch me do other stuff. 
as I get further into it. Uh, thank you for watching. Take care. And I'll see you on the next one.